Hey there, everybody. It's Sandy, and I am going to be showing you the Haunted Mansion for this World Card Making Day video. The Haunted Mansion is a generic building, and I'm calling it Haunted. It's called a Holiday Mansion, actually. It comes with dies, and you could die cut the windows and do cool things with them and die cut the doors, make them fold out. It also has a set of accessories for the Holiday Mansion that you can use for Christmas and for Halloween. And it comes with dies. How cool is that? So these are a great pair together. But me, I'm weird. I like to mask. So what I did was get my Misty out and I stamped first the building, the house, on a piece of scratch paper. And I turned the Misty around because I'm leaving the, the stamp on the Misty where it is. And now I'm going to arrange where all of my little elements are going to be. I'm going to try to figure out which one I want to have flying out of a window, who do I want sitting in front of a window, that sort of thing. And I'm going to be doing the Halloween one, of course, so I wanted spider webs all over the place and ghosties flying around. And since my house is still here, I can't stamp my that, that one little spider web yet, but I can stamp the rest. So I move move the spider web temporarily out of the way. I'll pick it all up with the Misty. If you haven't seen the Misty before, you have been under a rock. <laughs> so now I've got my finished piece of paper in the Misty, the incredible stamping tool. And so now my stamps are inked up and they're all down there ready to roll. I'm using some Eclipse tape, which is a little masking tape to create little masks for these guys. And so I'm going to just stamp on top of them and then trim each one out. And then I'm going to put them in the package so that I can use them the next time I want to stamp and not have to cut out masks all over again. You can use sticky notes for this and with, with little tiny ones. You can certainly use that, but the masking tape itself, this eclipse tape is sticky on the whole thing. So it's a little easier to have it be sticky all over. Then when I stamp my house, on top of it, then all of those little critters are masked out, so it's kind of cool. Now, since I'm not going to use the dies, I have to fill in some of the other parts, which for me is fun. So I'm going to draw in the pillars, I'm going to draw in a couple lines for stairs, and then stamp a bunch of spider webs on there, just doing them manually so that I can add a little bit of fun to my haunted mansion. This is almost like playing paper dolls, but with a mansion, which is kind of fun. And I love adding different kinds of textures to something. So here I can add, you know, all these different colors and make different kinds of wood. You could do a brick house, you can do different colored houses. And if you have other stamp sets, so if you have a stamp set that has little bears in it, you can make a whole bear themed house. You could make a princess themed house. And whatever you have that has little tiny stamps like this, you can put them peeking out of the window. So just use some sticky notes to mask out so that they're just inside the house. You can make scenes outside of it. You can do all kinds of stuff. And it's just a lot of fun. So I've colored the whole base of it with a, a light brown. And then I'm going to throw in this really dark brown. This is one of the, uh, the good dark ones, E79 and just add a texture on all of this. So I added a horizontal texture on one part of it. The doors will be vertical. And so I'll add a little bit of vertical up here. And then I'm gonna just color right over top of it with another color. Now often I'll do this with a medium brown, more of an E37, but I wanted this to be a really nice rich dark color. So it's going to just barely allow all that line work that I did with the dark brown to show so that you, you get the idea that there's texture there, but it's not screaming at you. It doesn't jump out at you, which is kind of nice. And now when I go over with the E37, you can see the difference between the E37 and the E29 because it, this will give me another layer of brown. It's almost like having milk chocolate versus dark chocolate in your brown colors. So I'm just trying to, to manage those. So I end up with some areas that are different colors 
but not having them be so different that they're bright and light like the base color that's down there. I'm leaving just a few choice tiny tidbits of that base color showing. Not very much of it because that's going to add that that real dimension that, <clears throat> pardon me, my voice is going, that's going to just make it pop. Because I'm going to, of course, add a background to it because that's what I do because I'm weird that way. But it's going to be a really simple background. This is a background you can do on a lot of different stamps. Lots and lots and lots of cards that you make. So if you're going to participate in my World Card Making Day giveaway today or this weekend, I'm going to pick winners on Sunday night, and this is posting on Saturday. So if you're watching in real time, then you still have the opportunity. So you can use a technique like this background. Just do a curve for the ground and then color in the whole sky in the background. And I wish I could color this faster in real life. Wouldn't that be nice? But then I just drew trees all over it. So I did some, I'm just going to show you half of this and not waste your time. But I did a couple of really big tree trunks and then just lots of little lines and then got smaller and smaller with the lines as I went so that I could get little teeny tiny lines and little tiny branches and almost ones that looked, I guess, sort of almost leaf-like. You could put leaves on them too. But this will just cover up all that background so you don't have to worry about making the background all smooth. How's that for a quick tip? So cover all of that up. Do a couple little flicks here at the bottom to really give my forest a little bit of depth at the bottom. And then I decided to darken the grass around the outside by just going over it with a, a BV color and then one more time with the YG just to make sure it was good and finished up in, in dark green. And then started working on the last elements on the house. And you'll see in the finished card the richness of the color. But I'm trying to use the, the light from the windows to light my objects. So this little monster is going to have light on that left side because that's the one that's facing the window. And then these little guys, the ghosties, are going to have light that's coming from the, the center of the picture. So the shadows are on the outside. And again, here is that nice, dark, rich color. Camera, I wish you would cooperate with me, but there you go. I try to set it to pick up that dark color, and then the whole thing looks blackened, which is weird. So such is life, right? But this is a really fun stamp set. So if you like to play paper dolls with a house, this would be a really fun one to get. And I will see you in the next video. we got another one coming in three hours. Be sure to check out my blog post about how you could win a card from me, and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.